the crap that's in the back. My other ring light. Uh, welcome to the Flipping and Wholesaling Houses in New York show. I am, am I not in the middle. I am Michael Pinter, where I teach you how to start flipping or wholesaling houses, or if you're already doing it, how to grow your business. So I got a question from somebody who's in Long Island about underground oil tanks. And first, first let me explain what they are, what they mean, where you are now. I don't presume to know how this works in every state. Um, but I know how it works in New York, and I know how it works in New Jersey, and you'll hear the different extremes. So an oil tank is for heating oil, and um, pretty much every house I've ever seen is heated one of three ways, right? There's gas, so natural gas line, or propane, so a tank of propane can be heated up, which is similar to natural gas in places where there are, are no gas lines. Oil, a lot of uh, homes on Long Island are heated by heat, home heating oil. Um, or electric, which is usually not so ve not very efficient. So when it comes to oil, there can be an above ground tank where you see the tank. Sometimes this is outside the house. Sometimes it's in the basement. Um, they're all different tanks. They're usually, a, I think, 250 something gallon tank. It's typical. Uh, the newer ones look really cool. Uh, they look like something out of Star Wars. They're not the typical shape. They're not round. They're 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 boxy. Um, and underground oil tank. So. It's something that hasn't been done in a while. That if you buy a house now, there's no way in hell they'd have put the tank underground. And the reason why is because a lot of these tanks that were put in, I'm talking about in the 40s and the 50s, um, they eventually corroded because they were underground, which means they're usually subject to moisture, and then oil leaked out, and it was an environmental issue. Now, New Jersey is a state that is nuts about this. Nuts. To the point where... Every time you buy a house in New Jersey, you have to get a tank scan, which means somebody comes with basically a um, metal detector and tries to find a, a tank underneath. And some, there are tanks that are bigger. The under, some of the underground tanks were like 500 gallons or even bigger. So let me just tell you my story is that I, when I started uh, buying property, so back in 2013, um, when I started doing it full time, I used a really good lender called ABL, Asset Based Lending. They're a very good lender, but they're based in New Jersey. And they made me, on every property I was doing in New York, do a tank scan, which cost, I don't know, 500 bucks. I forgot how much it is. And then if there was an underground tank, I had to take care of it. So we're going to talk about what that means in a second. And they wanted me to do other things. Now, eventually, after doing, I, I don't know, a dozen properties with them, I stopped doing it because this was such a pain in the ass and I only had to do it for them. And then I realized what was going on. Because New, New Jersey is nuts about this, right? Nuts. If there is an underground tank, you have to deal with it so there are only two ways to deal with underground tank one is to dig it up which is a huge pain in the ass remember some of these things are 500 gallon tanks are tremendous you have to dig up in essence the whole front or backyard or a big chunk of it or abandon the tank which is what i had to do a few times which means that they fill the fill the tank with sand or something like that and then somebody certifies an environmental company has to come and certify it's not the cheapest thing it's not the end of the world it never killed the deal for me it was just a pain in the ass that I had to do. So let me explain what's there. So if you're in New Jersey, and there might be other states where this applies, I don't pretend to know every single state, right? And you have to know what your state's policy is. You may have to deal with it. In New York, no one gives a crap. Now, the question that I got was, what if somebody does a soil test, right? Now, very often when you have an underground tank, they'll ask to do a soil test and see if there's any seepage. And if there's no seepage, they may assume that the tank is okay and it's fine. Um, I think if you're doing it in New Jersey, you have to deal with the tank one way or the other. I could be wrong, but you do a soil test. So this guy was asking about a property he had, and he was asking somebody to do a soil test. Now, I can tell you, very, very rare for somebody to do a soil test. The only time it comes up, um, a soil test for, for seepage, right, for, for, for under is, is on a commercial property where you have to do a full environmental report, right? So those of you who don't know, it's one of the huge pains in the ass of buying commercial property is that they have to do an environmental report, and that usually will require a soil, soil test. Now, why this, maybe this is only done in New York, because I, I haven't done it anywhere else. I think it might be done in other places. That's a huge pain in the ass, right? It's expensive. A, big, a full environmental report could be like $15,000. It's a pain in the balls. So, um, so what, what this person was asking me, and this guy, a good guy, I like him very much, was asking me, if you're listening, Bruce, you're a good guy, um, is what happens if the buyer eventually, right, he's flipping a property, he's going to eventually do a soil test. I, I think the chance of that is almost nil. I really do. Now, 
you can be proactive and do your own soil test, right? I don't know what soil test costs, a $500,000, $800,000. See if there's any seepage and get ahead of it if you're afraid of it. But I would think that the chance of anybody actually doing a soil test is almost zero in New York. Now, in New Jersey, it's very strong, right? But again, they're doing a tank scan. So the question is, A, how is the buyer going to even know that there's an underground tank, right? It's very easy to not let them know. So if there is a vent or something from there, I would make any metal sticking out go away so they wouldn't know about it. No one's going to do a tank scan. I've never seen anyone do a tank scan, but I have seen people, one in a million, where there was an old tank and they did a soil test. But I, I, it's, I'm talking, I think once it happened in my entire career, and I've done well over a thousand houses that I've seen all the time. So I don't think it's going to happen. I really don't. And I wouldn't worry about it in New York. In New Jersey, it's definitely going to happen. So you have to deal with it. But in New York, almost never happened. Um, people just don't do it. It's not on people's radar screen. So... Uh, but the first thing I would do if I were you is I'd make sure there's no evidence of an underground tank. Um, unless it's an existing underground tank that's being used. And if that's the case, then yeah, they're going to know it's there. But I don't think they're going to do a soil test. But, you know, you have options, right? So if there's an existing ab uh, underground tank being used, your option is, well, you can buy an, an above ground tank. In fact, did he say he did that? Let me just see. He texted me this question. Um, I'm just looking it up. I'm sorry. Uh Sorry, sorry, okay. Uh, um, la, 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 la. Buying an REO, is such a thing. The house has been vacant for a few years. I have concern about possible leaks. Given the regular room, these there. Oh, he's saying that he doesn't want to get a soil test because it's going to, it's, you have to, if it, there is leakage, then it's going to get reported to the DEC, the Department of Environmental Control. So I could abandon the tank and it's still on above ground, but I'm not sure they test beforehand, which leaves the same reporting requirement. Um, so I would say what my, what, what I would say is, um, I wouldn't even bother abandoning the tank. I don't think anybody's going to check for it. If you put it in an above ground tank, that's going to be the new tank. No one's ever, ever going to know there was an underground tank. Um, they shouldn't know there's an underground tank or if there was, they're not going to care about it. So if you have any concern that leakage of an existing tank, I would just buy a new tank. They're not that expensive to install. They're much less than I thought. They're like a thousand dollars to install. Well, at least that's the last time I installed one. Um, and then erase any evidence of the underground tank. So get rid of the fill. So have somebody come with a soils all cut off the fill, put dirt over that kind of thing. Um, the fills where the oil goes in. So that's what I would do, right? I would just avoid it completely. Um, if you want to be sure, I don't think anyone's going to do a tank scan. I don't think anyone's going to look for an old underground tank. And I don't think anyone is going to do a soil test if they see an above ground tank. That's the way I would approach it. Um, but again, this is not the same in New, in New Jersey and it can be different in every other state. So I don't know how it works in other states. I know in New York, it really hardly ever comes up. So um, that's my thought on underground oil tanks. Uh, you know, and be careful if you use anybody based in New Jersey. If you have a buyer in New Jersey, he may ask you for a tank scan. If you have a lender in New Jersey, they may ask you for a tank scan. People in New Jersey are nuts about tank scan. I don't know why that is. I actually Googled it. Why? I didn't get an answer, but it could have been some crazy environmental leakage once. Maybe people were nuts about I don't know why. Maybe some environmental governor came and was around it. But the, the law in New Jersey is much stricter than any place else. So you got to be careful in New Jersey. But I don't know of any other state that's nuts like New Jersey. So uh, my advice is to, um, in in New York, if you have a situation where you're afraid there's an old underground tank that's leaking, buy it, get a new tank installed, use the new tank, get rid of any evidence of the old tank. Now, I'm not trying to tell you that you should go pollute waters, right? The chance of it being of it leaking is small too. The chance there may not even be any oil in it, right? It probably isn't if it's been vacant for many years. It probably sucked all the oil out and the, and, and the boiler went out. So uh, especially putting a new boiler, put it in a new tank, no problem. Um, if you know there's leakage, you have to take care of it, right? You have to abandon the tank and you got to uh, treat the leakage. It's, it, that can get expensive. It's really sunk, sunk into the soil, but it doesn't happen often. Usually the leaks are very small. They usually can be treated in one area. They'll take soil samples in a few places, and if it's just around the tank and you abandon the tank, they're just going to assume that eventually it will dissipate into the into the. But if it's minor leak, it's not a big deal, right? What you're really looking for is a major leak where it's some kind of contamination for the soil. So I hope this was helpful. If you're interested in all the ways that I can help you, go to howtoflipnewyork.com or learn to flip and wholesale.com. If you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe. If you're watching on any media channel, please give the thumbs up. The likes really help the algorithm. A lot more people have been liking, and therefore a lot more people have been watching, a lot more, and it just keeps circling around, and I really appreciate everyone who's been liking, everyone who's been watching, 
And please keep the comments coming. I post five times a week. Your questions give me topics to discuss. Um, you don't have to ask a question about the video you're watching. It can be about anything. And if it's a simple answer, I'll just reply with an answer. If it's something that I've covered recently, I'll send you a link to a video. And if it's something uh, that I haven't covered in a while, something like this that I've never covered before, I'll be happy to do a brand new video on it. So thank you very, very much for watching. I really appreciate it.